the late 1800s, the logging industry was at full, uh, full force, really gaining, uh, gaining steam. And they really needed to up the operations because after they cut a tree down, they were using oxen and horses to pull the logs to the transportation site. So they came up with this thing called a steam donkey. Apparently, they said the boiler was not big enough and deserving of a horsepower rating. So I think steam donkey is kind of like a backhanded slap in the face. So they called it a donkey boiler. Two, it's a boiler, it's a steam engine, and it's a winch, all placed on two very large logs that are carved into skids, sort of resembling a pontoon boat. Steam out on the front edge of everything. So here's how this thing worked. They would bring it in as far as they could on rail, and then they would drag it. So this thing would, whenever they were taking it to its first site, or whenever they would clear off a patch and needed to move, they hooked a winch to the biggest tree they could find, and they would drag themselves through the woods, which is why it needed to be on those big wooden skids. Now, eventually, the steam donkey went away, as a lot of steam engines did, giving way to diesel-powered engines. But it's a big part of our history, and if you want to see some history, there are abandoned donkey boilers all over. If there is a replica on the Grizzly River Run at Disneyland uh, in California, that's their water ride. You see these pictures here. Right at the start on the left, that is a steam donkey.